Hey everybody, Spackman from Ventures of Spackman. We're up here at the foothills of the Adirondacks, Hadley, New York. We're gonna do a little overnight trip. There's actually uh, much more snow than you were expecting. You weren't expecting that. We got a couple backpacking tents with us this time. Hopefully the stakes will go into the ground. It's not too frozen. Check out the trailer. It's working out pretty well. Got an obstacle. water on for our freeze-dried spaghetti with meat sauce. Gonna boil that up, add the water, let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then it's chow time. What time is it, Jay? It is 7.56. It's just about 8 o'clock. So, late, late dinner again. <laughs> we always seem to eat late when we're camping, or not at all. <laughs> I don't know why busy doing other things, having fun. So, sun's setting behind the mountain. It's getting dark now. The moon's out. It looks like a full moon on the camera, but it's only half a moon. There's one star over the mountain. And one more right there, too. You can't see that one. Water's almost boiling. You hear it? I think it's almost boiling. You can't tell. It sounds like the fire. Jay, you want to open up the bags? Careful, that's hot. Let's say 15 minutes just to be safe. Timer started. It smells good. It smells good already. You smell that? Wow, that's bright. That is bright. So we got some mountain house spaghetti with meat sauce. I got a big can of it, mm, so I smells good. So I divided it up into other bags. Yeah, it smells, it does smell good. It smells like SpaghettiOs. You know, a little, a little salt and pepper, it'd be even better, but it's not bad. It's not bad? No. Well, no, that's pretty good. You know me, I'm a picky eater. Yeah. Remy's gonna have some when I'm done, I'm gonna give him the rest and his food. That is good. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Jay both gave Remy the, the rest of ours and his kibble. <coughs> so go ahead, Rem. Go ahead. <coughs> wow, 
Bless you, Joe. Is that good? Uh. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was delicious. All the everything rehydrated perfectly. The meat was good, the noodles were perfect. I didn't find any dry or non hydrated ones. Right, Jay? Yours, no, not yours at was all. perfect. It was perfect. Came out great. I was really impressed. I had my doubts. <laughs> yeah, me too. Remy seems to like it too. Yeah. Fire's going well. We added the two big logs across it to burn those in half. That's the light on low. Still bright. Yeah. We're all done eating now. Time for the first beer. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's so cold. Nice and so cold. cold. <laughs> nice. A cold beer on a cold night. Cheers, everybody. Alright, it's 1220. Checking in. Fire's going strong. We decided to toast up some bagels. Fire's awfully smoky. Ooh. Uh-oh. This one's done. Jay, can you grab the butter out of there? Ah. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> you have to melt a little bit of butter. Cause that bagel's ready. How's the bagel, Jay? Very good. Yeah, I'm about to eat mine. I made a sandwich. They got a little burnt. That's okay. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Almost bedtime. All right, guys. It's just about one o'clock. We're going to sleep. We'll see you guys in the morning. Remy's all tucked in in his sleeping bag. I'm just about tucked in in mine. But it's like one o'clock in the morning, so dreams of coffee. Coffee. Good night. Good morning guys, it's uh, just about 6 o'clock, the sun's barely coming up, oh, I got a headache, so we can get, get up, take some ibuprofen, start the fire and some coffee. <sighs> But yeah, so there's been all sorts of animal activity around here this morning. Turkey across the river, gobble, gobble went over there. Canadian geese flying in. This one's awfully loud. I wonder if he hurt the turkey. Ugh. I think Remy slept good. He's still in his sleeping bag, so that's good. Yeah. 
It is pretty cold this morning. It's got to be in the mid 30s. Jay just rolled out of bed, so I'm gonna get the coffee on. I got a heat exchange teapot with the fire maple titanium stove again. I'm gonna see if it works a little better this time with the heat exchange and it's not as cold. coffee maker I was using last time, but instead of having the thermos, I just have my regular pot with an extra lid that I cut a hole in that fits the coffee maker. So it's much lighter, we can take it back back in. The heat exchange collects the heat from the, from the fire so it all doesn't escape and it makes it really fast boil. It's only been about five minutes and that's uh, almost two liters of water I think 1.8 or 1.2 liters something like that so it's really fast and it's starting to steam So, coffee's done. We're yep, gonna first cup. First cup of the morning. Cup of the morning to ya. So, we're gonna enjoy our coffee. Is it good? Oh yeah, definitely good. Camp coffee's always good. Oh, that is good. Well, that pot worked out great. And now we just have it sitting in the fire to stay warm for our second cup. I got some water starting to boil now for some breakfast hash dehydrated, freeze dried, one of the two. I'm gonna try that out. So these are the GSI outdoor cups that come in the family cook kit. Oh, coffee. Well, breakfast is ready. Well, first part of breakfast. It's the spicy Southwest breakfast hash by Mountain House. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Little 
you can just eat out of the bag if you want. Ooh, that's spicy. Is it? Yeah, that's actually really spicy. How's it taste? Good, actually. I think it's good. Not so much like corned beef hash, but it's something. That don't taste bad. No. That's, ooh, that's spicy. Made myself a little spoon. Because I didn't want to dirty the coffee spoon. Huh. That's good. Like no other ha hash I've ever had. Where'd you get that? Walmart's? Mm -hmm. And the coffee was delicious. This is delicious. Yeah, this is very good. Yeah. We still got bagels to toast on the fire this morning, too. Mmm. The best part. Ended up keeping a bunch of that white birch that I found earlier for later projects and fire kits. And then the rest went on the fire. And it's just starting to go. Bagels are going on for breakfast. I started toasting bagels over fire camping last year, and it's just a thing now. Now it's toasted bagels over the fire for breakfast. It's worth the weight in gold. Something like that. Half the bagel with the cook pot top to melt the butter. I put some sticks down to raise it up so it fit it. That one's melting. Jay's halfway done with his bagel. They're gonna be delicious. Very good. Got everything packed up. Backpacking trailers loaded to the brim. And we're uh we're just about out of here. But uh Thanks for joining us on this adventure. I'm Spackman from Adventures of Spackman. See you next time. YouTube!